We're going to be going in to the pistol run. We're going to see CSGO Lounge starting on the CT side first. They're going to be pulling out quite a few nades at the beginning, actually. Only two players with the armor. And again, we see on the T side a nice amount of a couple of smokes. So possibly going for some sort of setup. We'll see how this one goes. But going into this one, obviously, we do have to say it is 1-0. Check your top right-hand corner, guys. It is 1-0 to flip side. They have got the draw no matter what. If they go for the win, I think that would actually take them above CSGO Lounge on the board. But Garrett's going to go aggressive. He'll find himself the first kill of the round. That's a nice start. We don't have any health bars because my game decided to screw up. But they're back now. There we go. Beautiful health bars. And, um, yeah, that's a great start for the CT side. They've got themselves the entry kill. The T's, well, they managed to take both pistols in the previous game. So that was like pretty much a sick round follow-up for them straight off the bat. So... Flipside will want to try and do that again. Markolov currently taking the pick. He was one of the stars in the pistol round for Flipside. So we'll see with him still alive what he can achieve. But they are moving the bomb towards the A side. And this is where we do see most teams either play one or the sort of setup we have here. Where we've got one player basically on the site and the other player in the connector ready to rotate as soon as possible. Just because it's sort of like the B site is sort of the one that's just so difficult to hold. There's so many positions you can push through. There's the connector to mid, connector to, to B, or should I say drop down. Drop down to mid, drop down to B. But here we go. The push is going to be coming into A. We're going to be seeing three players pretty much all the way over to the site already. So it's going to have to be the entry kills. The trades are going to have to be coming in here. The CTs already have the advantage. But as said, Markolov doing work with the pistol. Going to find the first kill. Well did it. Not going to be taken down by Michu just yet. And this is going to be a push coming in relatively soon. Mao's in the corner. We're going to see another kill come in. Bondic picking up the kill and this is going to be now a three versus three meet you taking one Garo coming in and finding his second of the round and now world edit he's going to have to find three kills if he wants to close this one out and innocent well he's just going aggressive he wants this kill and that will be taken down the bomb did go down to the t side though so the possibility for a third round by will be in their favor they could also go for a second round force it's not unlikely i would say it's more like mo the majority of teams the meta sort of suggests that people will go for the ak by on the third but plenty of teams can do it and uh well well they're picking up the d straight off the bat it may just be a light pistol by coming in and yeah they're, they're not gonna go straight force into this but we've always seen the flip side team, they love their digs, and Markolov actually going for some armor, so he's going to drop himself right down to $1,300. Should still be okay to buy in the next round, but he wants to be finding those one digs. Obviously, that legacy was sort of confirmed by Simple while he was in the team. Always, always love the deagle, the Simple Deagle. I think that, that that's what it would be. It should just be renamed now. I know there's still some other people like Nico sort of has a claim to the deagle as well, but for me, Simple's always been the star man. Innocent <laughs> gonna get wiped out. Just gonna sort of play a peekaboo and World Edit just ending him going, "You don't play peekaboo with me." And Blade is gonna find another one in the meantime. So this pistol buy already showing good promise. We still have a couple of rifles left on the CT side, however, and Markolov will get his head torn off. But Bondic still standing. Gero doing work at the moment. Michu looking for this kill. Going to take a little bit of damage. But Gero taking down three players off the bat. And that will be the round. Michu and Gero finishing this one out. So in the end they do find themselves the kills. Mao's going to keep himself the oomph. And in the end it wasn't too bad. But the Eagles did do a nice amount of damage. And here we go. As said, the AKs are going to be coming in. Markolov after forcing up with the Deeg and the armor is going to be forced down to just... A UMP, and actually, it looks like the economy was perfectly worked out by World Edit to buy what he wanted. Either that, or it was a bit of a fluke. But I feel like it's more likely, due to just the players themselves, they probably know most of the game. Probably do a little bit of a better job at this than me, especially with the analysis side. But let's keep moving into this game. We do have an oomph on both teams, so it's basically the same sort of setup, although the utility is weighing towards the CT side. And yeah, as with many maps, the utility is so important on a map such as Cobblestone. You can slow down a lot of these pushes with a smoke or two, but it, it, it is difficult, especially with a rush down, drop down. That's probably one of my favorite tactics on this map, just because it can be so effective. JW perfecting it with the sawn off shotgun, but in this scenario... Oh, where's the oomph actually playing? He's playing towards the A site. The majority of players currently gathering up towards B. We're seeing some drop-down presence from Markolov, and he's going to find the first kill into the round. So a good start from him, catching Mitra in a bit of a predicament, and that's going to mean that... Wow. 
the CT side are now going to have to try and make a difference here, but there's still two players over towards the A side. A great opportunity for some real damage to be done here, and Shara's going to walk straight down to that side, find himself one. Innocent still standing, though, takes down Markolov, and Manise has rotated in relatively quickly, but Bondic going to find one. Blade looking for the other, but Manise manages to finish him off. And this is a close round now. Bondic pushing in from behind. He's going to hit Mouse as well, but the UMP will do its work. And it's now one versus two. Mao's going to grab himself the AK-47. He is in a position where he could take this one. Does have himself a kit. He's got himself a smoke as well. But the AK is going to be the most crucial thing. And he does smoke off one area. Mao is going to be peaked. And Shara holding a little bit further back will take the first round for Flipside on the board. And well, that little bit of a slow rotation coming out from the CT side. I feel like they may have been convinced that there was some sort of fake coming on after that entry kill. And um, because of that... Uh, yeah, because of that, it's just a little bit of a problem now. Uh, the CT side, they're going to be forcing into this Maus and Innocent have managed to get themselves some rivals, rifles even, not rivals, but the remainder of the team are only on pistols. And you have to look at the moment. Markolov still has himself a loop, and you see three players without the head armor. This could mean that he just wrecks them and earns himself a nice amount of money, but... This time, it looks like he's going to be going to drop again. This actually seems like part of the plan at the moment. It's just, I'll go drop down with an SMG. I can get so close. The penetration of that gun, well, the armor penetration, I should say, is pretty... I think it's the highest you can get, apart from maybe on a shotgun from point blank. But we're not going to see the entry kill actually going to the T side. Blake gets tagged relatively low. But here we go, the CZ from Manis going to do a nice amount of damage as well. So, Trade does come in, but through the smoke world, and it will find his second kill of the round. Currently sitting at the top of the board for his team, although it is relatively early on. You can't really think too much about that. And um, yeah, no AWP yet in the game. So still, economy of both teams, not high enough for that to come in. I'll be interested to see who will be the first one to grab it, whether it be Gero. We saw Maniz picking it up a little bit. Also, well, expected to be well at it if it does come in. And the effective trades working out so far for the T side, they're going to be able to get the bomb down relatively comfortably. Michu is the closest one to the situation with his teammate rotating in with the AK, but they're going to have a difficult time. The smoke's going to make it that little bit harder, and Bondic, he's not going to miss that shot. Great positioning, and Gero, well, he's lost his life. The rifle has been picked up, and Michu, I like this decision. I think he definitely has to save, and the force by, well, again, it seems to be that CSGO Lounge are playing a sort of style where they want to try and keep the opposition low, which is understandable, but it's a lot harder to do to teams on the T side. And also, it really did just affect their CT buy, and now they're going to have to eco for another round after this because they went for this sort of weird buy with the pistols. So, I'm not sure it was the best decision. It could have been a better idea to just save up, but, well, it didn't pay off in this scenario what they decided to do, and now it's going to be two all flip side. Definitely going to have the better buy going into this round. Still no room just yet for an AWP on World Edit. But, well, Markolov, he, he's not interested in playing the rifles at the moment. He's grabbed himself another SMG. I think he realizes after that buy that the farm is potentially available for him. And I, well, I wouldn't be surprised to just see him jump straight into drop down and go for those kills straight off the bat. He is preparing himself, probably being a little bit less aggressive than someone of JW. But... Michu is going to do a little bit of damage with that rifle, but only find one player, and now it's only the pistols left in contention. And here comes the MAC-10, $600 in the bank straight away. Can he make any more? Yes, he can. $1,200 now for Markolov. He will get finished off, though. And he's finding a kill with the spray going back through the smoke. The MAC-10 not quite going to do enough damage, and World Edit will pick up his... Fifth kill? Fourth kill, obviously. For some reason, this I think the knife round does that. I'm pretty sure the knife round might be the thing that does that. It skews the stats at the bottom, and it's one of the most irritating things in the world. It's like, ah, he's got five kills. Oh, he has he has four. Oh, okay. Thanks, game. But there we go. Maniz picking up the AWP. World Edit has one as well, though. So the orb battle going to be coming in relatively soon. Maniz going for actually quite an aggressive peak towards middle. Wants to find himself that entry kill. He doesn't have any armor. And he may get a spot on World Edit relatively soon. Although World Edit is holding the angle. No one going to find the shot. Manise going to retreat. And that's going to be 
no trades yet. Obviously, we do have a bit of a push coming in from Mal's as well. But again, nothing really done with yet. Obviously, I do like the fact that everybody on the CT side has dropped the head armor so they can pick up some nades. Pretty basic stuff there, but it is one thing that you sometimes see weaker teams forget to do. So, oh, buy head armor. But you could have had a smoke. Definitely more plausible, especially when you're against AKs. Maybe not so much when Markelob's coming at you with a MAC-10 or a UMP for the first few rounds. But in this scenario, it's definitely a good stance. We're going to be seeing three players currently edging towards the A site, but the bomb is going in the opposite direction. Clearly, we can see that they haven't made a huge decision yet, but they are possibly going to try and force a rotation here. We're going to see World Edit rotating over towards the B site and still two potential players over towards A. So I'm not quite sure what they're going for here. Possibly some sort of fake. The rotation looks like it's about to come in from Bondic as well. So just... One player trying to build up a little bit of pressure on the A side. We're going to be seeing Blade entering in. If he can find the second, they may not even need to rotate. But the flash and spin going to be coming in. And we're going to see Jara burn innocent alive. A lovely shot from Markolov. And these entry kills have been superb. However, Michu still standing for a matter of seconds. And Bonding playing the Lurk role. Just around middle. Going to find that kill. And an absolutely flawless entry there. Just... Sort of blade pushes in, tries to catch them off guard. He catches one player, gets a trade, and that almost leaves them in a bit of a... Oh, are they coming this way? No. In the meantime, they push into the A site. Innocent gets fried up on the barbecue. And, well, Markolov just takes a lovely pick into the round. And now we're going to be seeing the CT side. They've got themselves some deagles. Again, as said, the deagle can be very deadly. Maniz has been doing great work with the CZ, but they went for a bit of a boost. And the nade has taken two players so low. Gera going to get himself a bit of a tag onto Bondic. But at the moment, it's not looking too good. World Edit going to be tagging a little bit as well. A nice shot from Innocent going to take down one. And well, this is really just to try and damage the tease at all. But their money is pretty good at the moment. A couple of players with over seven grand. One with over five. Bondic being boosted up towards the tree. Going to find himself a nice easy frag. And now Mouse is the only one standing. Got himself a 5-7. Gonna go for a close range shot, hoping that they push towards him. Which is definitely probable. It is one of the escape routes through the map. Although, the majority of people may go towards the door just behind him. Which is a little bit unfortunate for his positioning. But, here we go. It looks like one's gonna push in. He's just not paying attention. Well, Ned is just gonna take his head clean off. And take himself a 5-7. So, the buy now coming in from the CT side. Flip side, losing the initial pistol round. But, the follow-up afterwards was just much, much better. And, yeah, again, if, if this round is won by the T's, they're going to reset the CTs once again. And, well, we saw it last game. The flip side was, once they got on a roll, it was just scary. You, you There wasn't even really a chance where you saw, oh, yeah, CSGO Lounge, they're definitely going to take this one back. So, my prediction is definitely looking risky at the moment. I'm hoping we'll see one of the players from CSGO Lounge come alive a little bit. But, so far... Well, that it's been on point. Bondic's been on point. Markolov in this game finding entry kills with Mac 10s, and well, even the remaining players—they're not exactly playing badly. Manis though, holding an angle that they may not check straight away. He's got to watch out though. He's gonna find himself too. A nice spray, and if he gets the third as well, that's a superb start to the round for Manis and Mal's. If he can get this one out clean, not gonna quite. They should have this round relatively comfortably. But he's taking a little bit of damage. They don't want to lose any more frags to Markolov. And he is going to go hunting here. Although he's got to be careful because there are a couple of players behind. him. be flashing out. Not actually going to make it through the door. But they know where he is. But I would say that it should be someone other than Maniz taking this aggressive angle. They're pretty much letting him get the bomb back at this stage. But there's not really anywhere he can go. And Maniz is going to catch him in the back. So... A pretty confident round actually coming out from CSGO Lounge in the end. The off position from Maniz probably won't work again because I imagine they'll check that. But I thought straight off the bat that it might be something they forget to check. And well, they did. The buy going to be coming in again from the T's. Still not really burn out all of their bank yet. Still Bondic and Blade. And even World Edit probably having enough to buy in the next round if necessary. But um, yeah, two AKs picked up as well. That's going to be a nice addition to their buy. A lot more nades. That's another thing you have to look at. Nades are just... They're just wonderful things. And, uh, well, having them in your arsenal is definitely going to help you out. So, CT side with the possibility to make a difference in this round with the nades. And we'll see whether or not that is the case. They are still playing two players over towards this site. Garrett picking up an AWP now towards 
B as well. So this will give him the extra range, the possibility to take that single shot and get a kill. World Edit obviously still picking up his AWP and currently picking up the smoke. And in this scenario, it's actually Maniz now playing the lower position. And we have Maus playing up top. So we'll see whether this works. The, I think World Edit may have just spotted him out. And he is. He's going to take that frag. And it's already not looking like the previous round. And well, look at the CT side economy. It... Resetting it won't help them out at all. We're going to be seeing Maniz go for a little bit of a spray. He's had a good start into this game, at least in the last round. And we do still have one player back towards the site. Innocent is standing there. The push yet to come in just yet. We are going to be seeing a smoke going in here. See where exactly it goes. That's going to be going into the CT area. Why does it do that? I just, just hate this stuff. Come on, quick. Don't give me different positions on the smoke. We're going to be seeing a kill coming in from Shara. It just gets stuck for no reason. Come on. Go away. Go away. I, literally all I'm seeing is different smoke positions. There we go. Bondic going to find himself a kill. Shara finding another. Look, guys. Sometimes you just have to take the position of the smoke. It gives you the best advantage. And nobody really takes his feelings. Okay. Markolov going to finish out this round and perfectly clean from the T side. Absolutely wonderful. And, um... Well, wow. I, I don't really know what to say there. It was such a good round in the previous one. We saw Maniz taking out three players on his own. And, well, now we're seeing an absolutely crushing round for them. It's going to give a load more money back to the T side when they were starting to look a little bit low. And uh, it's going to put the CT back into a little bit of a force fight. As said, we've seen some good work done with the pistols in previous rounds. We know that they can be used. We haven't seen in this round any more deagles. So clearly they're deciding that the CZs, the 5.7s and the P250s are better. We have a little bit of armor on a couple of players as well. But the push is going to be coming in. Innocent at least getting a trade. That's not too bad a start when you have pistols. But it's going to be down to the remaining players. They're going to be boosting over the smoke. And what's well, going to have to be very good shot from Maniz. And he gets a little bit unlucky there. The headshot taking him down. Blade. Gonna get one and well save their world edit using the P250 to his advantage and well actually more much more damage being done there with the pistols and clearly the A site is the one that's a little bit weaker when when Ease is not up that top. I'm, I'm a little bit confused by that factor. I suppose they wanted to play different angles and for that reason they pushed Mal's up the top and put Maniz down below, but I feel like, well, Maniz takes a triple kill up the top, let's push him down below now. It, I don't see the logic there, like, if it works, it works. The Burt's pro style, don't change it if it works. Try it again. If it fails that time, yeah, maybe switch things up, but, well, we are now seeing a buy coming in from the CT side. They've got the AWP back on Gero, so their defense towards this post will be a little bit better defended. He's going to get taken down straight off the bat. That's not the start they wanted. He's going to miss the shot. And of course, World Edit going to find a tag. Don't expect him to get the tool. Bondic pushing through, going very aggressive. But three nice shots from Maus. It's going to bring this back into contention. And Michu finds one himself. And now it's all down to Markolov. I feel like this is the play you'd probably want in this scenario. He's going to find the first. And now, well, the final player is behind him. A possibility. I think he just... He made a footstep noise there. I don't know. I think he actually didn't get heard, but it doesn't matter because he chickened out the situation, moved away. And Markolov now, well, he doesn't know where this final player is. Sooner or later, he will work out that he's behind him. He's checking every single angle possible. And, um, oh, it really is down to Miles. He's got himself three kills already in this round. The bomb is going to be planted. Actually, I think... Markolov is convinced that he's over towards that side, but that nade's going to give it away. Now Markolov knows exactly where that came from. He knows where exactly where Maus is, and while that nade, maybe not, still looking towards the long side. I'm a little bit confused. He saw the smoke come flying in, but oh well, he's now playing around it. And actually, yeah, he is playing in a position where the smoke's actually helping him out rather than anything. And um, Maus actually went to the other side as well, so giving him a little bit more time, but... Markolov now going to hear the footsteps. Clearly didn't know exactly where he was. I thought the footsteps might have given him away in the smoke positioning. But Markolov in a 1v2. I said he's the man you want in the position. He was so calm all the way through that clutch. You didn't see any sort of aggressive pushes. He wasn't doing anything too risky. And that's going to be 8-3 on the board now. So flip side really are starting to run away with this. I would call it a sort of 9-6. Maybe 10-5 and a push. But more likely 8-7. And... Already eight rounds on the board for Flipside. They're coming up against an eco round now. Or, well, a couple of pistol buys. Nothing too major. And the CTs 
it's, it's a little bit scary for me that they seem to be doing more damage with the pistols a lot of the time. Like, yes, in that round, they were actually fairly good, but one of the players I highlighted at the beginning, Gero, he's not been playing that well with the AWP. It's a little bit worrying. Shara, gonna take a tiny bit of a tag, but Innocent really is taking the worst brunt of that at the moment. Michu got himself back on a big and Bondic. He's just going to take the easy frag. I'm not surprised to see the CTs trying to go a little bit aggressive here. They're clearly with a weaker buy and they've got to try and make something out of it. But at the moment, the Ts, they're just playing methodically. They've just got to push. They're looking for all these little angles and checking everything. But a nice shot from Michu going to find one. World edit holding behind the smoke though, ready to take that kill. A three versus four. CT's looking to do more damage to the T's economy, although it is still booming. Mao's going to find himself a kill. Innocent finding another. So still a two versus two now. And it is still favoring the CT side, or T side even, but well did it now on 20 HP as well. And AK has been found onto Mao's, but the rotation is coming in, and it may look to be a retake scenario. Innocent very low. It's going to be down to Mao's again to really make the major impact. And with the bomb going down... Well, they must realize now that it is going in the opposite direction. Going to find an AK onto Innocent. There is probably one of their better chances to try and retake the site. A two versus two. But again, it's Markolov in this position. You wouldn't expect them. Markolov and Wild Edit to let this one go easily. And straight away, Wild Edit is going to find himself a kill. Markolov going to push in and so comfortably. They're, they're just playing so calm, confidently. They're not stressing at all in all of these situations they just rotated away yes things came close but they've implanted it and now we are seeing a switch up of who's playing the awp and i don't particularly blame the ct side we haven't seen gero do too much with it in fact i feel like it was his pistol plays that were actually pulling out more kills out of the bag in fact i think he got was it an m4 triple spray at one point don't see why he switched away maybe they just thought that it would be advantageous and they can't currently make this jump up but there we go taking the tree position not a bad position i actually quite like to see people use the boost behind the statue that's one of my favorites but obviously it kind of gives away the position of two players but anyway the buy here not bad for both of the teams both have four names four rifles the awp is in the hands of Denise <laughs> for about a second i went to switch to him and it was just like okay well well then it's just going to end him well then it's going to find another one and um well i feel like towards the a site they were just looking for entry kills and with World Edit just hitting all his shots at the moment. 15 to 4. Looking unstoppable in both of these games. Uh, I feel like my prediction may be going down the drain. But Innocent's going to find himself one. We're going to be seeing another one from Garo coming in in the meantime. Going to pull his gun away. But the nade's going to be used to try and find himself something on this B side. The push is already coming in. Blade going to find one in the meantime. He's the lurker. And this is going to make things a little bit more difficult. It is a 2 versus 2. But Blade is really the man... Going to be throwing them off here. Going to push through. He's going to find Garo. And now it's all down to Innocent. And in the meantime, the bomb's just rotating away. They're going to go for this again. They're just... They're not really playing into the CT's hands at all. They're just going, okay, well, you want... You want to have the B-site. Here you go, have the B-site. We're just going to leave with the bomb. Blade holding the angle, but staying alive. Much more crucial for him. But he'll get taken down through the door. So, Innocent giving himself a chance. Three kills again. But look, Bondic straight away. Straight away, looking in the right direction. His teammate probably gave him the right positioning. And uh, yeah, that's going to be another round. 10 now for Flipside. CSGO Lounge not looking too good on their CT side. And um, yeah, they're just, they really are just getting outplayed at the moment. Can't really say anything else. They are going to go for a buy. Uh, Mag7, I imagine they'll be playing towards either Plateau, as Pasha sometimes does, or towards drop down and in fact it is going to be plateau we're going to be seeing the m4 of michu in the position of drop down and Manise, he's left with a cz but to be honest so far he hasn't been doing too badly with that he's only had really one good round and that that's sort of the problem at the moment it's like i remember mouse he got a triple kill didn't capitalize they lost again i think we've seen gara get a triple kill but that's like half their frags going in one round and we played 14 rounds well, this is the 14th round and you think Okay, really coming onto the standard of things. Yes, it's a slightly T-sided map, but that's not good enough. And Wild Edit, just going to find another entry. He's really not missing today. Mao's in a decent position, but the T's are just ready for these trades. Playing very, very well together at the moment. And it's going to leave just two players standing. They're not going to have too much in the bank next round, but they will have the loss bonus. So, well, it's really up to them whether they go for this or not. 
Markalov going for a knife kill. Just really shows the sheer confidence they have at the moment. And, uh, well, the bomb hasn't been planted. They've just left it on the floor. Jero going to get taken down, or Gero. Not quite sure how you pronounce it. I like Spiro. I think that's how his old name is. It does have a Z in it, but... Zero. But, there we go. We're going to be seeing the bomb going down relatively soon. Innocent has actually rotated in, so he may be going for this, but a second Molotov is just going to make things so much more difficult for him. There's three players left alive, and, um, well, they're kitted out, and really, you wouldn't expect them to throw away this round. And this is going to leave it to 11-3 if... The T side take the last round. It's just going to be another map where I feel like it's just too far gone. Like I, I like fair enough. I understand that train is a very CT sided map. I can understand losing ten rounds, maybe eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, that that's too much in this map. Ten round, ten to five, you can come back from eleven to four. You have a chance. Twelve to three. I feel like the flip side are just. Well, if they don't win four rounds on their CT side, I would be disappointed in Flipside just the way they've been playing so far. They probably could just save up, even just save a couple of rounds and get themselves an AWP into World Edit. He's been hitting all his shots at the moment. Bondic, superb so far on the T side as well. And every single player has been making an impact in different rounds. We've seen two clutches coming out with Markolov involved just can't really fault any of these players at the moment yes some of them don't have the best frag tally in the world but that doesn't matter does it it's not about the frags it's about the rounds and how they were won but here we go the ct side going for a little bit of a odd buy we have two mag sevens in play at the moment one of them is being played towards drop though not bad positions for mag sevens but here we go they are going to get taken down straight off the bat. Michu does manage to get one and pick up an AK. He's going to be spraying through the smoke. May get himself one, but he quickly gets traded. Manis coming in though. Going to find two. Now World Edit in a one versus one versus Maus. Maus currently bottom of the leaderboard, but we have seen him get a triple kill previously in the round. Going to be seeing World Edit pick up an AK. And the thing is, at the moment, he has so much time to play with. There's over a minute left on the clock. He can go for the bomb plant here. Mao's may be able to spot him out, but this is really going to be the pressure play now. Mao's going to be coming in from the right side. Will the angle be checked? And World Edit just takes his head off straight away. It just sort of epitomizes the flip side's game at the moment. It's just like, okay, I'm just going to... Oh, you, you come out there. I'm just going to take your head off instantly. There's nothing that you can really do in that situation unless you hit the headshot first. And um, yeah, 12 to 3. Flipside looking absolutely dominant at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised for them to take the next few rounds. Their pistol rounds, I'm pretty sure they've won. Well, they didn't win this pistol, but they did win the other pistols on both the rounds. So I wouldn't be overly surprised. We're going to see armor on every single player apart from Blade. Markov's going to be pushed. But this guy is just so good at hitting those headshots. He's found himself two already. We're going to see another one coming in for Blade as well. Well, not a headshot, but a kill. And Maniz going to get taken down by Blade as well. And as said, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw the pistol round. But this is an opportunity for Innocent. The player to his left is low. He's now hit Blade down as well. But he's getting tagged so low. It's Bond, they're going to take the final kill. And yeah, Markolov just started that round off with a bang. Hitting those headshots straight off the bat. And now we're going to see a force coming in from the T side. No surprises there. Even if... Oh, actually, I'm, I'm a little bit... No armor on Manise. So they really are investing in the nades in this scenario. Uh, three SMGs for the CT side. Two rifles. A little bit risky, but sort of... I feel like they should be okay. They are coming up against one player who doesn't have any armor at all. And that is Manise. But there we go. The smoke's going to be thrown in. This is to try and fake away, a keep a couple of players over towards the A side. But they've already spotted three towards B. And Shara, he's going to get a nice amount of damage. Only pick himself up one. Michu managing to find one himself. But Markolov's brought this back to a three versus two already. Michu finding one more though. Doing some nice work. Somehow, World Ed is just staying alive using the tree to his advantage. And he manages to take down two. I... I don't understand, like, how he managed to stay alive there in between both of them is ridiculous. But now, while well, the CT side, they're going to keep forcing. They're going to go for this again. I, again, I can't say I'm overly surprised. It's sort of coming down to the wire here. But it looks like they're not even going to get a chance to play on their T side, the favoured side of the, the map, unless they pull something out here. And it's now four rifles. It's only one SMG. Markolov seems to be loving his UMP in both of the games. And, well, whether... He manages to get himself another pick here. I won't be too surprised, but here we go. Mini's going to be playing 
The pushing roll, the aggressive roll towards the A site. Whether he can find himself a kill is yet to be seen as the remaining players seem to be pushing away. We've got Darrow with the Deagle. They are going to be trying to find these headshots, but both players playing very far back towards the A site, meaning they'll have to push them. Blake going to find one. We are going to see a couple of kills going either side, but again, it's the CT side coming out with the advantage, and it's going to be down to Innocent, and he gets taken down 15-3. to three. And, well, clearly, I was way out of my depth when saying that this should be a one-all csgo lounge they have just not turned up today this is not the same team that beat penta or gambit and flip side this this is this is why they're in the major i can't really say much more than this they've come out so strong today every single player starting to do well like even just looking at the frags it's not like anybody's really slacking there's only like eight kills between top and bottom less on the other side but that's only because they really are lacking on the fragging side mark love gonna find the entry kill and, well, there's still a couple of AKs for the T side. But as said, they're really not going to get into this. And, well, this is gone. Out of the game. Not sure if that was actually a no steam log on or if he just left. But Michu's going to find himself one at least. So there is an opportunity still for the T side to at least attempt something. But, well, did it going to trade one back? It is a three versus three. One of the best opportunities we have seen for them on the T side. Markelov is going to get saved by the plant pot there. And he's going to take another one. And now Miniz, 6 HP, no armor. He's got to try and save this against two players. And there we go. Flipside are going to take this one. That is the game, guys. Absolutely superb plays from Flipside. This is going to take them, I think, right up the league. If not... I'm not quite sure actually who's right at the top. Obviously, I've got to give the guys in production a few seconds to bring the score back up. They are very, very good though, so I'm sure they'll have it relatively soon. We'll go back to the scoreboard. And